Hello and welcome to my support solution YouTube channel. In this video session, we will learn about allowed item categories in SAP purchase order. But before we start, if you have not yet subscribed to our my support solution YouTube channel, then click on the subscribe button, click on the bell icon and select all notifications to get the latest and free updates after every new video upload. If you like our video, then please click on the like button. Also share our videos. So first we'll take one example and then we'll do practical. Our company is ABC limited. Our vendor is XYZ limited. We have one material 100-100. This is our material code. We want to create or we want to generate a purchase order for 10 pieces, 10 quantity for this material. Now we can observe in the below screenshot of ME21N transaction code that these are the allowed item categories at the time of creation of a purchase order. That is standard, limit, consignment, subcontracting, third party, tax, service. Means if we want to create a purchase order as a consignment purchase order, then we have to select the K over this in this item category column. Likewise L for subcontracting, S for third party. So these are the item categories available. Now our requirement is if we uh, use document type ZNB, we can observe in this below screenshot at the time of a creation of a purchase order, the system should allow only standard item category and not the remaining item categories. In other words, the user should able to create a purchase order only for a standard item category and not for all these others. Okay, so this is our requirement. Now we will do practical and first we will copy uh, the document type ZNB from the NB that is standard document type. So first uh, first step use SPRO, enter SPRO, click on the IMG. We will copy the required document type that is uh, ZNB materials management purchasing purchase order and define document types click on the execute button now click on the position and select NB document type then we will copy this uh, document type to our required ZNB document type Cop uh, select and copy ZNB let's say ZNB purchase order for uh, copy all now click on a save Now we will work on this ZNB document type which we have just now copied. Uh, select this document type and double click on allowed item categories. See we require that system should allow only standard item category and we don't require all these remaining item categories. So what we will do we will select all item categories select all the lines and delete the lines which is which are not required we have just now copied this um, document type hence we will select we can select all entries
save now we will observe the change that is uh, we will try to create a purchase order by using this uh, znb document type whether the system is allowing only standard item category or not document type we will enter the organization data purchasing group company code vendor and uh, now we will find on uh, click on the find and now here we can observe that only one item category that is standard item category is allowed for this znb document type because we have just now delete the item categories which are not required for this particular document type now we will enter the material enter the plant we will post this purchase order save so znb document type purchase order created under this number